How's it going everyone? Danny Vega here, aka Danny V. And are you wondering why the law of attraction hasn't worked for you? Or have you ever thought it was just a bunch of woo-woo like I did? Today we're going to talk about the top five things you need for the law of attraction to work for you. Step number one, I feel is the most important step, and that's to become the person that actually attracts and has those things. In the secret, in law of attraction, most of the time you hear, oh, just, just ask and it will come and that's it. But I really do believe that we don't get what we ask for, we get who we are. And I adopted that from actually Dr. Wayne Dyer. He's one of my favorite spiritual speakers. And one of his life's talks, you'll see it when you believe it. He says that they asked him to be on the secret. And he's like, I stood far away from that because you don't get what you ask for. You get who you are. And I totally agree with that because if you are not that person, even if you get what you ask for, you can't hold on to it. That's like if you're looking for a partner that's super committed and super faithful, but you're not, how are you going to attract that person? And even if you get that person, eventually they will end up leaving. So you can call it vibration or you can call it whatever, but becoming the absolute person to have that said thing that you're looking for is a must. It's the number one. If you hit the lotto and you don't know how to manage money, you're going to be broke again. Before we continue with this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell button for more future videos. Step number two. So in order to become said person, we have to go and practice and take action to become that person. So that's step number two is to do daily steps and daily habits that will make you become that person. So for me, there's a lot of goals that I would like. Yes, life has given me lessons to become said person. But another thing is to make sure that you practice habitually because you hear in a lot of videos that your subconscious mind has a lot to do with it. From when you were born to about the age of six to seven is when your brain waves are putting that subconscious blueprint in your mind. And that will determine how you think for most of your life. We learn from our family and friends, society around us, ourselves, and we learn from school. And that shapes you into said person who you are now. But you don't have to be a slave to the past. There are a bunch of ways that you can rewrite your subconscious mind. And one of them is doing something habitually until it becomes second nature. That's when it's no longer in the conscious mind. That's when you are subconscious. So for me, I personally had to get a planner to write everything down and do time blocks. I used to hate time blocks, but I had to do it because that's the only way that for my mind, as you saw in my other videos, I'm like, whoa, all over the place, right? My mind focuses when I have each small goal and each step. And what's great about time blocks is that it breaks down this big goal of what you have into small steps. So when you take small steps, it doesn't seem so overwhelming and you become the person that you want to be. So whatever that is, figure out what steps that you need to take daily in order to become the person that attracts those things that you would like step number three and i think this one is huge for me is stop trying to be positive all the time what you're probably freaking out like oh my god what that goes everything against law of attraction it's, and it sounds counterintuitive but that's not true if you want to become a person that does see the bright side of things and everything else like i said go ahead and practice that habitually to change at the core of your being that's what we have to do is change the core of our being and to change our perspective shifts our minds and attract the things that we want to do but what i'm saying is is that if things happen and you have these feelings if you have a loss if you have have grievance if you have anger or any of this that's okay stop beating yourself up and be like i have to be positive i have to be positive because all you're doing is pushing that emotions down in you and what is going to happen is going to fester and it's going to build up until you can't control it any longer so step number three is just to feel the emotions you can just sit and feel with your emotions and allow them to be. And that doesn't mean to go ahead and be depressed 24 seven or, you know, just stay sad or anything, but you have to allow yourself to feel these feelings because if you don't, like I said, they'll build up and get out of hand. And then whatever you don't express, the body will express. So sometimes that's why they say stress and other things can create diseases or dis-ease. It's great to try to become the person to look the bright side of things, but never push your emotions aside. Always feel them always express them. If you have to write them down, if you have to make music or create a piece of art, anything that expresses that, that is a huge step. For me, it was music and writing. 
that was always like if anything was inside of me that needed to be out music was the one thing in my life that i could depend on that would get these emotions out so whatever works for you make sure you do that step number four calm the mind ever it is that makes you feel more in tune with your higher self or god or multiple deities or whatever you personally believe in do it that right there has shown that intention with that practice has results coming to them one of my practices is that anytime I feel my emotions or anything else, I meditate. Meditation is really important in my life. Now, that doesn't necessarily work for everybody. And I don't mean to do like a 15 minute session. I've actually went to meditation retreats, try to meditate at least for 30 minutes or more, and just to really calm the mind by just observing. So meditation, you're not doing anything but observing. Everyone's telling you to picture these things. And yes, visualization is good. And that's later in step number five, but you don't want to do anything of that sort when you're trying trying to calm down the mind and be more in tune in the now in the present with your highest self so my form is meditation you can do prayer you can do anything that gets you there walking meditation yoga sports that's known when you're in the zone anything that calms the mind and gets you into the now and being present to everything that's around you being an observer of your emotions sensations everything that's a huge step to attract what you want step number five and this is where visualization and everything else comes into play is faith the hardest step this is why i left it for last number one was the most important that's why i put number one but number five is very important but very very hard i'm going to say some things that maybe help you out with your faith there's a good quote that says you never reap the fruit of the seeds you plant today and what that means is is absolutely true if you plant a seed in the ground and you water it and you're like give me fruit <laughs> It's not going to happen. No matter how hard you try, that fruit is not going to come up. It's going to take time. Now, with some plants, you can bear fruit within a short amount of time. Then there are other plants that you don't bear fruit until a long period of time. So that's why if you have that in your head, that no matter what, if it's a short period of time or a long period of time, that no matter what, if you keep working at it, that eventually it will come. That's the faith that you have to have, not blind faith don't have blind faith that is just like oh yeah it's gonna happen and you're not doing the right things to make it happen this is the proper way of doing faith is just knowing it's gonna happen visualize it in your head you can picture it there's a lot of neuroscience stuff that we won't get into today that we make this video way too long make sure that you're knowing being in the know not i think i know know that eventually this will come eventually it may not be now may not be tomorrow it may not be many months or even years but having faith Faith in that sense that it will come and you know what maybe you have to adjust your routine maybe you have to adjust many things maybe you have to adjust more things on your character or maybe you have to practice different things before it happens but eventually it will come despite your journey getting there and despite the timing it will definitely come to you so that's it guys that's my top five things to make law of attraction work for you better i may do a another video on more of law of attraction if you like make sure you comment below of what you want to hear do you want to hear some more tips more on meditation or philosophy or anything in in that manner please go ahead and comment below and as always don't forget to like subscribe and hit the little bell button for more future videos i love you be safe talk to you soon